Welcome back, everybody. Luis Lopez here live from Eagle Field on the campus of Southwest High School, where the Eagles are set to take on the Eagles of Santa Fe Christian at about 7.30. And hey, before we get into these local weather conditions, just want to wish a very happy Mexican Independence Day to all my fellow Mexicanos out there in the desert southwest. If I wasn't wearing the CBS shirt right now, I'd probably be wearing my Selección Mexicana football jersey 100%. But it's okay. Regardless of how you're celebrating, let's go ahead and talk about what those temperatures are going to look like as you celebrate when we go ahead and get a look at the RV World Yuma Sky Cam overlooking 4th Avenue at the moment. And as far as our sky conditions go today. We've noticed some mostly sunny skies in the Yuma area. The same can also be said as I'm sitting here in the Imperial Valley over at El Centro. So overall a great set of conditions for this Mexican Independence Day. All right, let's go ahead and get a look now at our satellite and radar and show you what kind of activity we've been tracking throughout the day. Really a lack thereof. As you get a closer look into the desert southwest, you can see really not much of anything going on for our area, and that's something you can expect to continue as we go throughout the next couple of days. Let's go ahead and get a look now at our future cast to show you where some moisture could be making its way across the country as we go throughout our day on Saturday. And as you can see, a lot of that activity heading northeast as it's been doing over the past past few days, but again, overall, that activity moving away from us here in our area. Let's go ahead and get a look now at our current wind speed. You can see that we're dealing with some overall calm conditions in the area at the moment. And as you get a look at our future winds, you can see those calm conditions likely to remain for most of the area, with the exception of Ocotillo, which could be seeing 30 mile per hour winds as we go throughout the rest of today and Saturday. A look now at our air quality index presented to us by the Imperial County Air Pollution Control District. And now let's go ahead and get a look at our current temperatures. We begin with the Imperial Valley. Overall, a semi-mile night again in the valley. Let's go ahead and take a jump, skip, and hop across the county line into Yuma County, where those temperatures are very similar. Let's go ahead and get a look now at today's viewer weather photo. This coming to us from Ron Gap, a great shot of his golf outing during the sunrise. And overall, hey, who can blame him for getting up that early? Probably didn't have to wait behind anyone. And even in between holes, thought of us to take a picture. Ron, thank you so much for getting this sent in. And if you have a photo that you'd like to share with us, all you have to do is take out your phone. You can open your camera app, go ahead and scan the QR code that's on your screen. That'll take you right to our homepage on KYMA.com, where you can upload some of those photos and hopefully we can get them featured right here on the newscast. Let's go ahead and get a look now at our Friday Night Lights forecast. Once again, I am here at Eagle Field on Southwest High School, where, again, the Eagles are set to take on Santa Fe Christian. As we approach kickoff, we could be noticing some 92-degree temperatures. Those conditions will likely stick around through halftime. And then as you're leaving Eagle Field tonight, 75 degrees around 1030. A look now at our seven-day forecast for the Yuma area where these dry and clear conditions are expected to continue a small chance for some rain perhaps next Wednesday, but overall a little bit more likely that we'll be seeing these clear and calm conditions that we're noticing today. And as you get a look at our seven-day forecast for the Imperial Valley, you can see that these conditions are just about more of the same overall 99-degree temperature, so we could be in for a pretty hot weekend in the Imperial Valley with Yuma as well. But overall, as we approach the fall season, about one week out, could be noticing some overall cool downs here in the desert southwest. All right, everyone, that's going to do it for our weather segment. As I mentioned, some of these temperatures are cooling down. I heard Vincent Arlette earlier joking about some of that sweater weather. Don't know if we're quite there yet, but as I'm sitting out right now, the temperatures are actually pretty comfortable. I'm not sweating. I know Arlette was joking about sitting in a sauna. Thankfully, those aren't the conditions tonight. Again, a pretty calm night overall here at Eagle Field in El Centro. And again, if you want the full highlights from this game, be sure to join us for Friday Night Lights tonight at 1015. Reporting live from Eagle Field in El Centro, Luis Lopez, 13 on your side.